Here, so we're doing something really fun. I have Allison here with me. What I've set up is called a Schlieren effect camera. So you're actually looking at heat diffraction in the air. So the heat coming off the candle is actually doing micro pressure differentials in the air as the heat is expanding upwards and cold air is rushing in. You're actually seeing that difference. How this works is I'm using a parabolic reflector out the back of a large reflecting telescope. It's culminated at the point of a razor blade, splitting it in half. So as the light comes in, if it's not perfectly reflected as it would normally be, the light's changing it, it will shift off, and you're recording that difference, so you get a high contrast effect of the heat coming off. What's neat, if I blow on the candle, you can see the effect. Uh, it works for other things too. I'm gonna blow the candle out. It's really subtle, but like my heat from my hand here, you'll see very small waves coming off of my hand, just because my hands are warm, reflecting that heat. Here I have a heat gun. So as I blow that, you can see it's actually affecting the air around it to the hot air, like so. And then here I have a soldering iron. So I'm going to kick this on and let it heat up. It's a slow effect. So I'm going to wiggle that around. You can see the heat waves coming up off of it. So again, this is the Schlieren effect. I'll post up some pictures showing the setup on how it works, but it is a great way to visualize not only heat, but also shock waves. This is used to show uh, like whip shock waves, airplane shock waves, things like that, that basically micro air currents. Things you need to see are happening in the air that are invisible to the naked eye. So that is the Schlieren effect. Thanks for watching.